Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to iterate an array list. So in this video, we are going to follow three ways. First of all, we are going to use for loop, then for each loop, then list iterator interface. So let's write our code. So we need one array list, right? So we have to define one array list. So you can see here, right? I have created an array list and I have given the name as a fruits and it is going to accept all the string. So let's add some fruit item. So you can see that I have added mango, apple and banana. So if you print just fruit item, what will be happen? Let's try. So let's run this program. You can see right mango, apple, banana, but currently it is showing in one array or I can say it is a one array list. So we have to iterate. So first approach is our for loop. So in for loop, what we have to do? We have to define for loop. First variable will be our int i and we have to go from zero, right? So zero means what? First index. First index means mango, right? And we have to go till banana. So I can say i less than fruits dot size so here fruit size is 3 right so that means it will go from 0 to till 2 only it will go as a from 0 1 2 3 that means it has to go like increment so let's print our all the value so what will be happen we have to take our fruits and use get so you can see here get index so index means what we have to give from 0 to till what item we require so we have to give here i value i means 0 1 2 so let's run so you can see right first of all mango then apple then banana is coming right so using for loop it is printing perfectly so i can give one statement here using for loop right so what will be happen so that means this output is belongs to for loop next way is for each loop so what will be happen here just use for and here you can see our type is what a string so just give here a string fruit and what is our array list name fruits so just copy and give here so here what will be happen whatever we have done here and using get we are iterating one by one so similarly it is going here so in the fruits three item is there mango apple banana so now when you use for each loop it will iterate one by one so this will iterate three times mango apple and banana so let's print just use fruit and you can copy this line and just change as a for each let's run you can see right first of all we have printed using for loop next time we have printed using for each loop all the two approach is working fine so next one we are going to use list iterator here we have to use while loop also so first of all what we have to do so we have to use list iterator just type list iterator and define your type so our type is what a string give the name as a iterate equal to so what is our array list name fruits so just give here fruits dot list iterator you can see here right so it is showing here return a list iterator over the element in the list so our list element name is fruits so we have given a list iterator now we have to use while loop and in this while loop we have to iterate one by one so first of all you can see a red color is showing so that means you have to import it once you import it just copy this name and give here has next so has next means like if it will contain any next item it will go inside the while loop so for our scenario we are expecting first of all what will get mango then apple then banana so we are using array list right so it will maintain the insertion order so just use this out that means we are going to use system dot out println so here what you have to do just use iterate because it will hold the all the item dot next and for our acknowledgement just copy 
and change here as a list iterator let's run so you can see right using list iterator we are also getting mango apple banana so currently we just saw three approach first of all for loop next for each loop so in for each loop we have not defined like int i then we have to go till what index just you have to define what is the type so in our case the type is a string so that's why we have given here a string if it is a like number then you have to define your number then it will be our array list name and then it will iterate so third approach is what using list iterator so you have to define one list iterator after that just you have to use your array list dot list iterator so all the iterate element value this object will be hold and after that we are going to use while loop so in this while loop we have given our condition like iterate dot has next that means if it will contain any element then it will go inside so it is going three times one for mango then apple then banana so in this video you just learn how to iterate array list using three approach so in next video we are going to learn how to iterate array list using lambda expression